Good morning, Mustang family. Welcome back to another beautiful school day here at Rev Christian School. Happy Friday, folks. At this time, please rise and join me in the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. The pledge to the Christian flag. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the savior for whose kingdom it stands, one savior crucified, risen and coming again with life and liberty to all who believe. The pledge to the Bible. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light into my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I may not sin against God. Please be seated. We have many birthdays to celebrate today. We have Daniela Gonzalez in sixth grade. Happy birthday, Daniela. Haley Rodriguez in sixth grade. Happy birthday, Haley. And of course, our very own Mr. Sanchez Cohen, our secondary math teacher. Happy birthday, Mr. Sanchez Cohen. God bless you. You are an absolute blessing to our school. We have some weekend birthdays. Tiara Banegas, one of our amazing seniors, celebrates her birthday this weekend. April Duarte in ninth grade and Melody Reyes in K4. Happy birthday to all you. I hope you have an amazing birthday today and over the weekend. Guys, today is the final day for re-enrollment, for exclusive re-enrollment for current Herrera families. Monday, open enrollment does officially begin. We have an open house next week. Uh, next Thursday, we have an open house, folks. So teachers, please make sure uh, we're all looking sharp for next Thursday. As always, as, as always, we look sharp, but uh, just just be known that at 9 a.m. we do be, uh, begin an open house for prospective parents next Thursday, the 16th. Also next Thursday, we have a fun day planned for all of our students from preschool all the way to 12th grade. It should be a fun-filled day uh, as we've been announcing. It's the Carnival at Horeb. So this is all for you students. This is a reward for the amazing job you're doing this year. And it, uh, it will always be a day of learning, but you will have a little break each and every department to go out there and have fun and fellowship. And uh, it's, a, it's a much needed a little uh, fun day for all of our students and teachers. So we're looking forward to that. Um, <clears throat> Uh, a reminder that next week, school lunch forms are due on Tuesday. And remember that we have no school on February 17th. That, that is a teacher planning day, a professional development day. Um, folks, if you haven't signed up uh, uh, in front of Ms. Castro, there is a sign-up sheet. We're just asking you to write down your name and just confirm that you've signed up for the, for the PD day at Calvary Christian Academy in Fort Lauderdale. It is very, very important that you do so. Uh, guys, we are we are in talks with um, with Florida Tours, our our partners when it comes to charter buses. They are having a little bit of an issue securing a bus. Nevertheless, we do have a plan. We we have our vans on campus, for, and no matter what, we will provide a shuttle service. Remember, if you live in the Broward County area, or or you want to go directly to Calvary, or you want to set up a a carpool, you're more than welcome to do that. You, there's no need to meet here uh, that morning. We will give you an official meet time uh, today. We're going to we're gonna be sending out an email with an itinerary of if you're going to take the shuttle service, what time you need to be or what time we'll be departing. Uh, and of course, uh, what time we expect everyone to uh, check in at Calvary. Okay. All right, folks. I also want to announce uh, our girls basketball team won their first regional game last night, the quarterfinals. So they are on to the semifinals. They won in impressive uh, fashion last night. I believe they won by about 35 points. So the girls continue to crush it. The Lady Mustangs, congratulations to Coach Pelayas and Mr. Sanchez Cohen and Coach Vero. Great job. And of course, our AD, uh, Coach Caballero, well done, guys. Uh, my understanding is the Miami Herald was there last night also doing a piece on our girls. So very excited about Mustang Athletics. Um, they're ready to make history. They've already made history. They're the first team ever to win a district championship in our 40 years. And we are confident we are going on to state. Okay, but we got two more games to go, two more victories, and we are on We are on our way to the state championship. So very, very excited. Uh, make sure that you congratulate all those girls and Coach Belayas and Mr. Sanchez-Cohen 
They're doing an amazing job making us proud. And at the same time, just playing Christian character. Every, every call we get from other schools is how well our girls behave with humility, uh, never, never showing off. They're, they're truly uh, doing a great job in a humble fashion. So very, very uh, proud of them. Uh, teachers Mustang of the Month um, forms were due yesterday. We are we are looking to make that um, call those students down next week. So sometime next week we will make a call call for uh, photo ops. Of course, with uh, preschool and elementary, uh, one session and middle school and high school another session. And then on the twenty seventh, our student council meeting, our student council will officially be voting on the next um, food truck that will be on campus. Most likely at the end of February, early March. Well, I'm sorry, it'll be it'll be early March. So as we've been doing the last two times with Cone Ice and the and Santo Dulce, the Churro Company, we're looking to bring another uh, cool food truck for all of our students. Um, so we look forward to the student council's decision there. And also on the 27, we officially begin Read Across for Ed Week. Remember, that is an annual tradition here for our preschool and elementary departments. Our teachers do such a great job uh, decorating their rooms. I know uh, this year they're going to have display tables outside of their rooms for everyone to see the book of their choice as we celebrate literacy uh, school-wide here at Hareb Christian School. Very, very important as we want to promote literacy always and build that love of reading in all of our students. It's so very important, boys and girls. I can't stress enough. Uh, this is for all students, even if you're in high school, the importance of reading for pleasure. If you want to get better in every subject, picking up a book, reading about something you like, even if even if you pull up an article, if you like soccer or, or dance or whatever it is, reading about that subject will improve your grammar, your writing ability, your vocabulary. It is so very important. If you want to become a better student, you need to ask yourself, how much am I really reading? And it's really that simplistic, guys. Reading is fundamental. Also, on February 22nd, we will have our PSAT administration. That is for all sophomores and juniors. Very important uh, test. As for a, a lot of these students, the first time they'll be taking a test of that nature. And it's all about preparing you for the SAT, uh, that very important assessment uh, that most universities look for, uh, for acceptance. And then March 1st, it will be the last time most of our seniors will ever take the SAT. I know a lot of them are looking to bump up their scores and we're gonna be sending a lot of applications after that March 1st uh, testing date. And our juniors will also be taking that SAT for the first time. So students, all I can tell you is uh, having confidence for that test, meaning that you're preparing. I know a lot of students right now are in SAT prep mode uh, during our second period on A days with Mr. Calabriello. Uh, make sure you take advantage of that, guys. And there's so many resources online that are free now that you could do it on your own. We know there's not enough time in the, in the school day to really accomplish these goals. You need to be studying on your own time as well. That's very, very important. Also, our middle school basketball team had a big victory yesterday, their first game, and they won big. They, they had a big, big victory, winning by double digits. So the basketball program continues to fire in all cylinders for boys and girls. All right, folks, I hope you have an amazing day. God bless you all. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day, Lord. Lord, we thank you for all that you do, Lord, in our lives, Father. Lord, I ask that you be with anyone experiencing difficulties now, Father, whether it be with their health, health or financial, Lord, or anything, Lord. Be with them, Lord. Let them, may it be known, Lord, that they can rely on you for anything. For with you, Lord, nothing is impossible, Lord. Be with our support staff, Father. Be with all our teachers and our students, Father, and our, our PTF, Lord. Lord, we thank you for all that you do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.